Hey there! I am a gamer mom, and today we are playing Sally Face. I started the game, but it wasn't recording properly, so I'm going to have to restart it. So, we're going to go in, yep, start a new game. It was just like the last time. Only this time, it started in a hospital. It's locked. All right, turn on some lights. Hello? It's okay, Sal. Everything is going to be okay now. Come and see. Where am I? Don't worry about that. Just come find me. Weird. Sounded like my dad. Push, push. Oh, I found a key. Let me guess, that unlocks this door. <coughs> oh, I remember this part. Hey, this part D. Oh. Whoa. That's really warped. G. Oh, I love that art style. Look at how pretty that is. Can't interact with anything here. I'm barefoot in the rain. Hi, puppy. Who's a good doggy? Who's a good boy? Buried her alive, kid. You tell me. Huh? Go see for yourself. Weird. Oh, no. Beloved mother and wife? Hello? Batteries not included? It's locked. Uh, alright then. Who are you, sir? Oh, you got the same blue hair. Are you my dad? Dad, you are not my son. My son is not a murderer. So little compared to him. How old are we? Huh? How old are we? We're the lady bitty. This is your fault. Ooh. Ooh. What's my fault? Mom? Are you... Oh, sweetheart. Yeah. Hi, Mom. And that's when I woke up. Hmm, yes. It's an interesting dream. I think we should go back, come back to that dream later. But for now, can you tell me more about the body? Which one? The second one, the one from the apartment. Dad and I had just moved in. I had a weird feeling about that place right away. Episode 1. Strange Neighbors. Okay. Okay. Hi, Dad. <clears throat> this will be our new beginning. We'll finally leave what happened in New Jersey behind us. Why don't you go explore the building and make some friends while I finish unpacking? Alright, Dad. You got it. Exploring the building. Ah, uh, there's a police officer. Hello, sir. <clears throat> I'm your fairy freaking godmother. What does it look like? I'm an officer of the law, so you better show me some respect. Ah, uh, okay. You do not want to chat. Now oh, that's my house. Hello? No one's home. No, that's it on this floor. On this floor. I can I talk good. I guess we'll start at the top and work our way down. Oh, this floor is currently being renovated. For your safety, please make your way to the nearest exit. 
Eh. Lock it. Lock it. I have holes in the knees of my pants. Oh. Walking right past doors. Oh, hello. Sorry. I didn't think anyone lived up here. Hello, sir. Are you okay? You shouldn't have come here. I'm sorry. I was just trying to get to know my new neighbors and a dark place. This building. Horrible things happen. Are you sure you're okay? What the? What the is correct? Hello? Sir? Where did you go? <clears throat> it's weird. The bathroom door is locked. And there's handprints on it. I lock it. Okay. We'll go to third floor. We already did four. That's the floor we're on. Okay, I can't. I, I cannot walk around a wet floor sign. It just does not happen. There's something or someone. Is that a chair? Looks like a chair. No one's home. Hello, dear. Hey! Oh, my! Sorry, you just startled me a little. You must be one of the new guys from 402, yeah? With all the excitement going on today, I haven't had a chance to stop in and say hi. Yeah, it's just me and my dad. My name is Sal. Pleasure to meet you, Sal. I'm Lisa. I take care of this place. Keep things up and running. So if you ever need help with anything, don't hesitate to ask, okay? Sure. Thanks. You're quite welcome. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Sal. What's up? Is there anything around here to do for fun? You know what? I have a son your age. I think you two would get along great. He's downstairs in the ap our apartment. You should go introduce yourself. Sure, I'll go say hi. <clears throat> Great. His name is Larry. He'll be in the basement. Tell him I sent you down. You'll need a key card to access it from the elevator, though. Here, take this one. I've got a few extras. Thank you, Lisa. Is this building haunted? Sal, sweetie. I've been taking care of the Addison apartments for a long time, and I've never seen any ghosts or goblins. That's just people's overactive imaginations. Too much sweets and scary movies, if you ask me. Alright, well. Let's go hang out with the kid. But also, let's meet the rest of our neighbors. <coughs> Hello. No one's home. Yeah, who's there? Hello, I'm new in the building. Just wanted to introduce myself to the neighbors. Okay, come in. My name is Sal. I just moved in today with my dad. What the hell is with your face, child? Oh, I know. Young teens. New generation of self-expression. I was young once myself. I get it. Just so long as you're not in a gang or anything. Yeah, you're not in a gang, are you? No, no. It's nothing like that. Wonderful. Well, I'm Charlie. Don't mess with my stuff and we'll be okay. I'm a collector, you see. I collect many things. Yes, sir. Yes, you do. These things are like my family. So if you mess with my collections... You're messing with my family. Got it. Yes, sir. Not a problem. I won't be giving you any troubles. Good to hear. I gotta look at something. I gonna look at. I gonna look at the ponies. Bask in the glory of my complete set of glitter ponies. A great accomplishment it is to have this full set. You can look all you want, but don't even think about touching them. What's a glitter pony? my god, child. Have you never seen My Glitter Pony's Rainbow Spectacular? It's only the greatest television show ever produced. It's got drama, action, romance, comedy, everything you could want. And the ponies. Oh, the ponies. Don't even get me started. Yeah. Uh, I guess I missed that one. I'll have to look for it on TV. Yes, you will. Trust me, you won't regret it. Alright, good talk. Bye. Anybody on this side who's more normal? No one's home. Hmm, I guess no one is home. That was a different answer. Different response, response. Floor one, hello. 
No one's home. Hi! Yeah, what do you want? A little early for trick-or-treating, isn't it? Uh, stupid good-for-nothing kids here. <laughs> That was rude. Hello, Addison? Oh dear, what a frightful- uh, Pardon me, let's start over. Hello, young sir, new resident of Addison Apartments, room 402. How may I be of service? How do you know who I am? I know all that takes place within these walls, sir. You'll do good to remember that. Can I come in? Heavens, no. I'm afraid that I'm quite particular about my privacy. I'm sure you understand. Sure, sure, no problem. Later. Farewell, friend. No one's home. Oh! Hello! What's going on? Hello, young man. You just moved in today, correct? Yes, sir. I already spoke with your father. Seems you two were out of state with everything happened last night. Story checks out. That's good. Try not to get in our way for now, okay? We're investigating a serious crime. Is it murder? I can't talk about that. Alright. So long. Okay, well. Basement. Gee, I sure am looking forward to using this. Not. Biohazard. I don't have anything to say about that. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. This way? Ooh, lots of tasty junk food. Not really hungry, though. Uh, the only apartment down here. Okay. Nice, good sized one then, right? Out. It's locked. <coughs> Before I talk to Larry, let's see what else is here. Let's see what's. What? The heck was that? Hello? Nada. Weird. Hey, Larry. Hey, Larry. Larry. Yeah? Hey, uh, Larry? Your mom said I should come say hi. I just moved into 402. Oh, hey. Come on in. Door's open. Hi, Larry. Oh, nice mask. It's a prosthetic. Oh, shoot. Sorry, man. It's cool. I'm used to much worse by now, so I'm glad you like it. So, do you, like, have no face under there? What happened? I'd rather not talk about that. Okay, change the subject. I'm Larry. I live down here with my mom. Sal. My friends call me Sally Face. Just moved down here with my dad from New Jersey. Sally Face? <clears throat> I guess I didn't really have any decent friends, to be honest. So once they started calling me that, I figured if I owned the name, then the a-holes couldn't use it against me. You're a complicated dude, aren't you, Sal? Pretty strange. I like you. We're getting along great. <laughs> That's what your mom said, too. Mother knows best. Why do you live in the basement? My mom always says it's because we got to guard the place from rats. But I'm pretty sure she gets this room where I'm free with the maintenance gig. It's cool, though. I don't mind it. I get to listen to music as loud as I want to when she's not around. Nice. Yeah, it's like my own little bat cave. I like your shirt. Thanks! It stands for <laughs> Sally Face. <laughs> I do have my own clothing line, so... Haha, <laughs> it's actually for this metal band called Sandy's Fall. Do you like metal? I don't know. Oh, that's gotta change. Check out this song. It's their first single. The full album comes out in a few months. Oh, <laughs> cute! Oh, Sally's adorable. What happened in four o three? Shh, not so loud, man. What? What is it? The killer is still in the building. How do you know that? I saw it happen. Are you high right now? I wish I was, man. This was some scary crap. What happened? Okay, so I was helping Mrs. Sanderson with a clogged toilet. 
I was just finishing up, but I heard him burst in, yelling like a lunatic. I know what you've done! Herman told me everything, you stupid witch! She tried to calm him down, but before she could even get a few words out, he was cutting her throat wide open. I was shocked. It couldn't move. I was frozen by fear, man, just peeking through the crack in the bathroom door. Anyway, it all happened so fast, and then he cleaned up quickly and left. I don't know how, but he didn't even see me. I haven't really told anyone yet. Not even my mom, but I trust you. Some random kid who just walked into your apartment you trust. I... Yeah, it was definitely Charlie, big creeper from 204. He was wearing gloves, so I don't think they got any prints or anything. Shouldn't you tell the cops? I actually tried to talk to that detective, but he won't listen to me without some kind of evidence. Like, my word isn't enough. Huh. Okay. What's up with 103? That's Mr. Addison. He owns this place. I don't think I've ever seen him leave his room. Always talks to his little mail slot. He's a nice dude. Just real strange. Oh yeah, if you say Addison Tea, please and thank you to him, he'll give you a cup of his famous tea. I hate the stuff myself, but the adults seem to love it. Okay. I like your paintings. Thanks, dude, it's my passion. Radio? What's this thing? That's, uh, it's a police scanner. I can listen in on local cop chatter. How the heck did you get this thing? That's a story for another day. But hey, you just gave me a great idea. If I make a fake call, maybe I can distract them long enough for you to sneak into 403. Maybe we can find some kind of evidence to show that detective something they weren't looking for. Pretty quick to sign me up for the break-in. Well, I'll make the call down here and I'm just messing with you. I'm totally up for this. But I want to peek in that room anyways. Sweet. So, what's the plan? I'll call in a bank robbery. Hostage situation, and that should clear out the cops for sure. Guess that'll buy us a few minutes until they figure out it wasn't real. You gotta be upstairs when they do that, so we can make these those minutes count. We can use my walkie-talkies to communicate during the whole thing. Then, I can give you a heads up, too, once I know the cops are coming back. Sounds pretty solid to me. Maybe just switch the bank robbery with, like, armed robbery at a gas station or drugstore. Make it a little more believable. Mm, yeah, I guess you're right. Good call, Sally. Here, take this. Head up to your room and let me know when you're ready. Just press that shift button there to call me. Awesome! Let's go do some breaking and entering. That was exactly what I was hoping for this day. I love me some breaking and entering. Uh, my room. My, my place, right? Yes, my room. Alright. Uh, don't mind me, Dad. I'm just gonna ha hang out in my room a bit. Aw, Gizmo. I see you made yourself at home already, Gizmo. Must be nice. Best kitty ever. Look at him. He's adorable. Alright, shift. Alright, I'm in my room now. Alright, let's do this. I'm gonna make the call. Give me a second. Another one. That was only a second. Nice. Okay, it's done. I heard a bunch of hustling upstairs, so I think it worked. Go see if we can get into 403 now. Alright, let's do this thing. Oh. Oh. There's a broken coffee table with some books. Look like anything important? It just looks like junk to me. Alright, keep looking then. There's gotta be something else. Man, this is pretty twisted. Tell me about it. There's these little figures. It looks like one is missing. I can see a small clearing in the blood. That's it. I know how we can get him. Get out of there and come down to the basement. Sure, I... Oh, there I go. And I'm in the basement. Sanderson and Charlie both collected those weird toys. They were nuts over those things. Mrs. Sanderson got this super rare one or something. She was telling me about it the day I was fixing her toilet. Anyways, I bet you bet you Charlie couldn't resist taking it. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if that's why he offed her in the first place. That dude always did give me the creeps. There's something unsettling about him, you know? Wow, this is crazy. This guy definitely needs to get caught. We can't live in a building with a murderer. Exactly, that's why you gotta go into Charlie's room and see if you can find that toy. Wait, why do I have to do it? I snuck into 403. Charlie isn't too fond of me. There's no way he'd let me in. He accused me of stealing snacks from his room. Snacks, flippin' fatty. Alright, 
All right, I'll do it. I'll be able to sleep at night otherwise. Cool, you're the man, Sally. Here, take this baggie. You can slip the toy in without touching it. Why do I get the feeling you've done this before? <laughs> nah, I just watch too much TV. I... Alright, buddy. Let's go talk to Charlie, I guess. Yo, Charlie! I know, they're so cool, aren't they? Yeah. He is, like, watching me like a hot... Look at those eyes! Oh my god. Um... Alright, I'm gonna have to find a way to make him look away from me. Is something in my place I can take? Let's check my place out better. I haven't checked my place out yet. It's over here. I've got a bathroom. We'll get back to that. Kitchen. Bags. Just some stuff Dad got from the store. Nothing important. Alright. Okay, nothing in the kitchen. Bathroom. Sleep aid. Dad still has trouble sleeping at night after. Okay, so... Something with the bag or the sleep aid? <coughs> Checked my room out. Yo, Dad. At least he's trying now. Not drowning himself in booze. Not totally giving up on life. On me. Hey, a quarter. Score. <laughs> <coughs> so cute. Okay, so... I also kind of start at the bottom, work my way up. Hey, Addison, do you have anything that can help me? Hello, young sir, new resident of Addison Apartments, room 402. How may I be of service? Uh, can I have some tea? Oh, I can put the sleeping pills in the tea. There you are, sir. Please enjoy. Would that work? Maybe there's something in the bags I can put in the tea. The sleeping pills are, like, perfect, though. I can make Charlie take a nap. No, bathroom. This will knock that j jerk out for sure. Okay, so I could use the sleeping pills. Nice. Now, it said that all the adults love the tea. So hopefully all I have to do is offer it to him and he'll drink it. Let's check it out. Yo, Charlie, hi. It's my own chunk of heaven, just me and my stuff. So you live here alone? Alone, look around you. I have all the company I could ever need. <clears throat> well, it is nice to have a visitor from time to time, I suppose. Yes, I know you're speechless because you've never seen such an awesome collection. Yeah. Don't worry, anytime I'm home, you can stop by and take it all in again. Oh, is that Addison tea I smell? Yeah, I just got some from... Oh, I just love Addison tea. Give it here. I... Well, I was gonna give it to him anyways, but that was rude. Ah, oh, so tasty. So relaxing. Oh. Have a nice nap, Charlie. Got the toy. Score. Oh, that was one of the top ones. I didn't even see. Okay. Um, basement. That's right. Yo, dude. I got the toy. Dude, Jerry? Jerry? Jimmy? Jerry. I got the toy. Alright, Mr. Smooth Criminal. I knew you could do it. Thanks, man. I was nervous for a second there. I bet. Now, all you need to do is give it to that detective and it'll all be over. Okay. Don't worry. I got you. I'll do it all. I got this. Good thing there is an elevator. I would be exhausted running up all these stairs, I swear. 
All right, Mr. Detective Dude. Hey, Detective. Hello, Sal. I think I know who did it. You've been talking with that Larry boy. Can't put much faith in a teenager with a criminal record. Oh, I, uh... Look, I appreciate you trying to help. I do, but unless you've got some sort of evidence, then please refrain from spreading rumors. I've got evidence. Let me see that. This came from Charlie's room? How did you get this? I was just saying hello to my new neighbors, you know, trying to introduce myself to everyone. I was in there talking to Charlie, and he was showing me all of his toys. That's when I noticed one had blood on it. I thought for sure this would be helpful. So I grabbed it with my lunch bag. Well, well, a little detective in the training, huh? <sighs> Not bad, kid. I'll hold on to this. Just remember, next time you come to us with this info instead of putting yourself at risk, okay? Yes, sir, you got it. You got it, sir. Yes, sir. Alright, I'm gonna go back to Larry. And I'm gonna leave this, this episode there. So, in the next one, we will discuss this with Larry. So, put myself right here. In fact, we're gonna gonna play Sanity Falls again. And we'll leave the episode on headbanging! On... Uh, on... Uh. And... There we go! If you liked it, leave a like down below. If you have anything to say, go ahead and leave me a comment and like always. Don't forget to subscribe for more content, and I will see you guys all later. Bye!